Hi, I'm Errol Thomas and I'm from Dolby, Queensland. Today I'm going to be taking you through what's involved in getting a reigning horse prepared for these championships and we'll uh, get around here and have a look at a few different horses. Okay, to prepare a reigning horse for a competition, uh, especially of this size, uh, it's quite important that you understand when you're actually showing that horse at the time you need to show him um, and understand your horse um, so that you can get that horse right to that peak performance when you need to go show the horse. How we do that, and it's very difficult with large shows because we don't get a lot of time in the actual arena, a lot of it's done outside. So you get them to a point outside here where they're feeling relaxed, you need them to be nice and relaxed and nice and clean on the manoeuvres. Um, and then what we do is we have what we call pay times where we have the opportunity to go in the arena and uh, take our horse through these manoeuvres and just basically test our horses to see where they're at and if, make sure they're relaxed, make sure they're nice and clean on their manoeuvres uh, and they're doing it all correctly. This is a, a point where that, that you've got to trust in your training basically and um, see that the horse is relaxed in the arena, guiding for you um, so we can get these manoeuvres done. Okay, well diet for a reigning horse is very, very important. These horses are uh, athletes, so diet is very important and what we feed them. As you can see here, we've got a lot of different makeups of feeds. Uh, we've got here, we've got our electrolytes we use for when the horses have competed and they've had a pretty hard day. We'll give them their electrolytes for the day so that they um, keep their fluids up well. We've got our formula here for our joints, which are very important in reining horses. They, they do get a lot of uh, movement in the joints, so we need to protect those joints a lot. Um, and so we've got a joint formula there. The different feeds here, we've got, you know, some feeds are a calming feeds that we don't want them. Some horses are, get hotter than others, so we don't need to feed them a lot of grain, but we still need to give them the feed to, to give them their strength um, and all of the products they need. So There's a very good range of food that we, we do feed our reining horses. Okay, circles in a reining pattern are very, very important. It's a big part of our pattern and what we do. We do these circles at speed and also not small, slow circles. So getting the same size circles is very important for the judge. That's what he's looking for to, to get you scored up in this pattern. Uh, how do we get them the right size? Well, every arena is slightly different, but we pick points in the arena that we look for, um, and that's what we ride to, to get our quarters, and we get them round. That's what we're chasing, to get a nice, round, fast circle. The small, slow circle, again, we pick points in the arena um, to, to keep that circle nice and round and small, and that's what we're chasing. A lot of new people struggle with our reining patterns. Um, they mainly because they look at them as a whole pattern. The easiest way to get through a reining pattern is to break that pattern down into all the manoeuvres. None of the manoeuvres are different in any of the patterns, just done in different times in the pattern and different positions in the pattern. So it's just a matter of breaking that pattern down and, and doing those manoeuvres individually. And once you've completed one, completed one manoeuvre, you move on to the next. Uh, most people struggle if they try and keep that whole pattern in their head and do it all at once.